Hello in TV land. This is Wonderwall, the introduction. Uh, what we're doing is playing with capo on the second fret and we're using four different chords uh, to start. And all those chords are based around the double third fret system, meaning you're playing a G chord but you're doubling the third fret using your ring finger on the B third fret and the high E third fret with your pinky. So the, the chord system is like this. It's used in, you know, uh, Taylor Swift songs. <laughs> Praise and worship and stuff like that, as well as um, this Wonderwall song we're doing. So what we do, we, it's kind of a system that the only thing that's constant are these. And we start with the E minor seven chord, which is just going to be an, an E minor. You take an E minor, and instead of playing it with your middle two, you're going to have to play it with your index and your middle, and your ring and pinky are going to play down here. You do a strum, and then the bass note, one and, and then the rest of that bar is down, down, up, down. up at the very end. So it's down, bass, down, down, up, down, up on the G. You keep going with the G, then you have bass, down, down, up. So that entire first bar. And then we switch to the D sus4, so you play a D chord and then just add your pinky, but really you aren't going to need your middle finger because it's being playing a totally redundant note. If we were doing like the free falling thing, you would need it, but since we're leaving this down throughout, you just leave your middle finger off. But you see there, it's still a D. So, and when we switch to the D sus, it's basically doing the same thing that the E minor did, but without the bass note. It just switches to the next chord, which is called an A7 sus4. A7 sus4. Normally, we'd play an A7 like that. We have the ring and the pinky down still because we're using this system of chords. So we take the A7 and we have an up and then up, down, up, and then you lift up and play kind of everything else open except for those two. So the entire first half, E minor 7. The A7, it starts with an up and then it's two more ups. It's more like up, 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 down, up, down, up. But except for on the very last up, down, up, it opens except for the top two. Like that. And then it's, uh, you do that seven times. Four times with no vocals, it's just the intro of the song. Etc. Seven times, he starts singing on two day, you do it three more times. Then it switches to part 1A, the next part, and it's kind of like a transition into the, the full band coming in. Uh, you start with a C add 9, which is just your middle finger and ring finger coming over here. And you do the rhythm down, bass, down, up, down, up to the D again. And you stay on that D, and it's up, down, up, down, down, up. So together that was... And then you switch over to the A7 again. And then it's down, up, down, 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 up. And then a hard rest, so you'll stop from ringing out. And after that rest, it comes back with up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So, so seven notes in a row. But on the last three, you lift up your index finger and it's just that, those two again. So the entirety of part 1A... to part one.